Welcome back everyone to another episode of Cooking with JJ. In this week's episode, I'm creating my Nana's Lost recipe. I'm doing this purely from memory. And the best way to describe this type of recipe is a savory bread pudding casserole type dish. Of course, you're welcome to put your own spin on things as usual. So come along with me on this journey in my kitchen. And be sure to stick around to the very end to find out if I'm successful in recreating this lost recipe. We'll get our aprons here to go along with our theme. Adjust the mic. I'm really excited to get started on this recipe and of course try it in the end. So without further ado, let's head over to the kitchen and get cooking! You can see that I got a basket here of Roma tomatoes. And the fun thing about cooking tomatoes is that it helps with the bioavailability of the nutrients. In particular, lycopene, and lutein. And lutein is known for helping the eyes, great for the retina, and for the brain. Of course I washed these tomatoes here. I've created a slit. We have our ace baguette here, and we're just going to break it up into smaller pieces. Tear some pieces. We're gonna pop it in here just to make things more manageable. <laughs> Keep everything in order, more or less. <laughs> Our tomatoes are boiling away and peels are starting to come off. Beautiful. And uh, this time I made a slit around the circumference of each tomato so that it will be easier to peel the peel. <laughs> So it doesn't have to be perfect as you tear these. You want to keep them more or less the same size. This is a lost recipe that I don't have access to and I don't even know if it exists anymore. But I hope that I can get it more or less the same as what my Nana used to do. My Nana liked to stick to her main recipes. She didn't really explore too much outside of those recipes. She just worked with what she knew. And they were often quite simple. We're kind of eyeballing it here. So you see we were filling this part up, but we're taking account for the tomatoes as best we can. <laughs> I don't think we'll need the whole baguette. And we'll see how it goes. The nice thing about this recipe, it's kind of like a dump and go casserole. You pop it in the oven, you know, mix it all together, pop it in the oven, and then you're good to go. We'll get two teaspoons of our veggie better than bouillon. We'll add two cups of water. We're using the same water that we use to boil the tomatoes. See how easy the peels come off. Thank you. 
I'm gonna mix in one tablespoon of our tomato paste. This will just provide a nice umami flavor. Mix it in with the broth here. And since I'm playing it by ear, we may not need all of this broth. We'll see how it goes. The dish, the original dish was quite soft though. These are the key flavors. I do remember the oregano, the basil, and garlic powder. So we're going to do it little by little, the spice, so you can gauge it. Add some sprinkles of oregano. Some of the garlic powder. I'm going to break up the tomatoes, but not too much. Now we want enough liquid to cover this. I believe I guesstimated pretty on point here. Just going to mix it again, gently. Now we're gonna cook it covered, just a fresh grinding of black pepper before we cover it. There we go. Now it's time to take the savory bread pudding out of the oven. It's that time again, everyone. I get to try our delicious dish. Well, we'll see how it turned out because I was really going on the fly and playing it by ear making this recipe. I've wanted to make it for a long time. So we'll see if it's close to the original recipe that Nana used to make. I paired this with some peas and some Beyond Meat dish. and I'm gonna add chilies. <laughs> I was also mindful about the salt content with the Better Than Bouillon because it is quite high in salt, so I did not want to add any more salt.
and it is indeed close to the original. I would say she most likely did not use the better than bouillon, veggie bouillon, because it brings a, a little bit of a richer flavor there. So there you have it, everyone, a simple and delicious recipe to add to your recipe booklets. And I'm really surprised and satisfied with the way it turned out. It turned out pretty close to how I remember it from my childhood. It was a recipe that she would always make. It was so simple to make. Of course, she would use the canned uh, stewed tomatoes. I recommend using the fresh ones and doing it yourself, but it's up to you. If you use the canned ones, of course, it's going to be much quicker to throw together a true dump and go uh, casserole. And feel free to mix this up too. If you feel you wanna put your own spin on things, feel free to do so and share with the rest of us what you ended up doing. Of course, if you like your spice, you can add chilies at the end, or if you wanna get a little bit more interesting, you can incorporate some jalapenos in the mix. It will add a slight smoky and a little spicy flavor, but it won't be over the top spicy for those who can't handle too much heat. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell notification icon so you don't miss a single video. There's gonna be a new recipe every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern, so you don't wanna miss it. This is JJ signing off, keeping things interesting in my kitchen and in yours. Bon appétit.